AI in the classroom? I'm community reporter Juliette Lamar Imanacito at Cold Springs Elementary School, which has been implementing this technology into the classroom. And they tell me it's paying off for both students and teachers. Um, maybe researching and typing it down on the Adobe Express thing, yeah. Eight-year-old Jacob Singer and his second grade class at Cold Spring Elementary are using an AI chatbot to research historical figures, like Vincent Van Gogh. But guess how many paintings he sold? It's greater than 800 and less than 1,000. They're definitely more engaged right now. Like if you look around the room, everyone is actively writing, actively researching. Second grade teacher Sarah Shapiter says integrating AI tools from companies Conmigo and Magic School into lessons is taking learning beyond the textbook. Interesting, you know, how you can dig deeper, go deeper, is how many paintings since his death have been sold. Over in the Innovation Lab, teacher Ryan Francisco tells me that introducing students to responsible AI use under teacher supervision gives them tools for safe use outside of the classroom. The students are going to be using AI um, whether we teach it in schools or not. So we're really looking at this as an opportunity to show them how to do it safely and responsibly. Cold Spring Elementary's mix of AI and project-based learning has paid off. Last year, the school had the highest elementary school test scores in the state, according to the California Department of Education, which principal Dr. Amy Alzina tells me comes down to having a balance. My personal mission statement is to show what's possible in public education and when that integration component is there, really magic happens. I feel like we've done that. <laughs> I get emotional about it because honestly, um, it's, this is what every school should look like. In Montecito, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.